In my last video, I showed you guys how I made this handy sled for tapering and straight line ripping at the table saw. It's a very simple and inexpensive design that utilizes track style clamps to secure the workpiece to the sled. Now, I chose to use Micro Jig's match fit clamps for the hold downs, and while that decision was enough to spark quite a bit of controversy in the comments, there was one particular question that kept popping up, and I think it's worth talking about in a video. See, when I designed this jig, I made sure to leave a small bit of material on the blade side of it so that the clamps could not physically go past the edge and interfere with the blade. The match fit clamps have this convenient screw at the top of them, and if it's removed, you can reverse the head of the clamp to, in theory, extend the reach of the clamp. Hence the question, why not just reverse the head of the clamp and extend its reach? And then you wouldn't have to leave that little bit of material there, and it would make the sled just that much simpler. This is by far the most logical solution, but unfortunately, it doesn't quite work that easily. When you use the clamps in their normal position, the screw forces the foot of the clamp upwards towards the clamp pad, squeezing the material between the two, just like most clamps. But when you use them in reverse, the screw pushes down on the material and lifts up on what I'm calling the heel of the clamp, sending it upwards with enough force to actually start tearing apart the sled. Depending on the situation, this will happen even before it provides enough pressure to secure the workpiece to the sled. Now, I suppose secure means something a little bit different to everyone, but regardless of how much force you personally prefer before you feel like something's actually secure, using the clamps in the reversed position exerts a lot of unnecessary pressure here at the heel in the groove, and I wanted a sled that would last people as long as possible, despite my reasoning of using particle board for the one that I made for myself. Ironically, I had already thought about reversing the clamps when I first started designing this sled. My original design was to have grooves cut into the fence itself that could house the clamps backwards, but I quickly discovered that there was just too much force when using them backwards to make it work in a simple way. As an example, take this roughly four inch fence that I had originally made. Using them in reverse, if you use the clamps with the foot completely encapsulated into the groove of the fence, you can actually get them to work out all right. However, if you have to push the clamps back, like when clamping down narrow stock, it turns into a catastrophe. That's because the foot of the clamp has to have material to push against before it can actually start exerting clamping pressure. And because it's hanging off the back of the fence, you will almost run out of threads before you ever get it clamped down tight enough. And to make matters worse, the fence material actually starts coming apart while doing it. It seems the key to using these clamps reversed is to have a brace on top of the dovetail groove. In my test, I simply fastened a strip of wood to the top side with some CA glue. This is a great fix, but presents another problem. You can now only use the clamp in that one position, meaning you can no longer have the option of scooting the clamp forward or backwards depending on the cut you want to make. So I suppose one solution would be to make the fence wider, and that way, no matter where the clamp is positioned, it would always be sort of encapsulated in that groove. But then we lose a lot of real estate on the sled, meaning less room for material that we want to cut. Anyways, hopefully I explained that in a way that made sense. But if you have another idea on how to make this work, feel free to chime in in the comment section, and maybe we can figure this out together. That's all I've got for you guys today. Thanks so much for watching, as always. We'll see you in the next video.